To install Composer on a Mac, we first want to move into our user local bin directory. This is a common location to put a command line based programs such as Composer. Uh, if when you run this change directory command, it tells you that the directory doesn't exist, you can simply create it using this command I've provided in the notes. Once we're in our user local bin directory, we're going to download the Composer installer using this curl command. And at this point, Composer is installed, but it's installed under the name composer.phar, where phar is short for PHP archive. And we don't want to have to type this extension every time we want to invoke Composer. So we're going to rename it using the move command. So we're going to take the original file name, composer.phar, and we're going to move it to just simply Composer. All right now, at this point, we should be able to invoke Composer. And we can see the output instructions for using Composer. And this should work in any directory, not just when you're in your user local bin directory. For example, if I go to my uh, main user directory, I should be able to invoke Composer here. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work for you, it probably means that this user local bin directory is not part of your computer's path variable. The path variable is essentially just a list of directories your system should look in when you're executing commands. So if that's the case for you, you invoke Composer, your system's unable to find it, uh, check the video description below. I have a video about editing your computer's path variable so that you can make sure that this path uh, is included as part of it. That way you'll be able to run Composer from any directory.